Well, I guess it's time for my first garden video of the year. I'm going to start here with the grotto. Um, I planted some, let's see, I've got lettuce in here. Got a few carrots right over here, and then radishes on the right. I had planted parsnips here, but I, I have a heck of a time getting parsnips to come up. But the other stuff, the, the lettuce and the radishes especially, it's doing pretty well. I probably need to thin this lettuce out and eat some of it soon. Um, I've got chicken wire over it right now to just keep the chickens from getting in there and scratching around, which they do sometimes. Under this jug here, <coughs> there's mint plants. Again, the jug was the jug was partly to help them get started and um, partly to keep the chickens off. And then I've got tons of green onions. I feed the whole neighborhood with green onions. Um, need to be using more of them. And then over to the garden, the main garden here. Kind of looks terrible right now. It's actually not as bad as it looks, but I've got a what I'm pretty sure is a parsnip coming up volunteer here, which is kind of funny because I've had no luck getting parsnips to grow on purpose. Um, but there's one growing right there in the edge of the garden, so I'm just going to let it go and see what it does. Um, this this corner of the garden here, I think I'm going to turn back into yard because it's right under the tree and it gets sapped like crazy every year by the tree roots coming over here. And just nothing really ever grows very well right here. Um, I picked the asparagus already today, so there's not much to see here, although it looks like I missed one. Missed one pretty good size one there. And then over here, I've got the strawberries. Um, this one is one that I accidentally dug up. And uh, trying to get it, trying to protect it and get it going again. But there's several of them now that have branched out. Like this one here, it's going to have runners. Like there's one, there's one, there's one over there. There's like at least four different plants here now that I can dig up and move around to other places. So I'll be able to spread these out some this year. And then Right over here next to the strawberries, I've got a few rows of potatoes planted, which are now starting to come up. So there's one. There's one over there. Potatoes are kind of a dark, darker green than anything else, so they stand out. Um, let's see. Around the end here. I had put some, I had put paper down, a uh, feed sack paper, and then put um, compost from the chicken house here under the trellis and so that's why it looks like crap some of the paper is shredded up and the chickens come over here and scratch around but anyway I planted um, pole beans here under the trellis and I don't think any of them are up yet but um, and then I'll have to clean up some of this some of this trash that's left behind um, Let's see, up here, I replaced this post that was um, rotted off at the bottom. I've probably got one or two more years on this trellis before they all rot off, um, which is a lot more than I expected when I built it. Um, they're just, they're just regular studs, they're not treated, this post is treated, but the rest of them are just regular two befores, so I really thought I'd get a couple years out of them. It's been, I guess, seven years now, so I figured that's pretty good. Under these jugs, I've got, see, that's carrots, lots of carrots. This one, oh, it does have stuff up. I didn't think it did yet. That is either cabbage or broccoli. Not, I forget which. And that is the other, whichever. One of those is cabbage, one of them is broccoli. I've got it written down inside. And then that is Swiss chard. So I've got lots of lots of all those going and ready to be transplanted out. So let me pause this, go over to the other garden. Okay. Um, 
this garden doesn't look very great either. As I mentioned last fall in one of these videos, I'm trying to go more no-till. Um, trying to go more no-till this year, so I haven't tilled, I haven't run the tiller at all. I've done a little bit of hoeing, but basically I'm trying to disturb the, the surface as little as possible. And then I'll mulch around things. Um, this is supposed to be a double row of peas that I planted pretty early. They, they got snow on them, which is actually fine. But they also got some pretty bitter cold weather, which probably wasn't. There's also some radishes in here. Like there. And there's also a lot of volunteer lettuce, because this is where I had lettuce last year. So there's a lot of lettuce plants getting started. So I could probably, well, I could easily fill this whole garden with lettuce plants if I spread these out. But here, up, up here for some reason there's more peas. A decent little bit of a row. But then if you step across them, there's four rows of sweet corn. And this first row... I um I'm standing in my light here. This first row I put in by poking holes in the ground and dropping the seeds in. And that was pretty painstaking. And so the other rows I just made normal rows with a hoe. And those are coming up a little faster, but they're all they're all coming up pretty well now. So there's the there's the second row. And third and fourth. Then I've got another double row of peas, which are coming up a lot better than those first ones did. And then here there's stuff. I don't remember exactly what stuff. There's something here. Um, again, I've got I've got records of all this. This is what's what, but there's different different stuff planted up and through this double row, but I don't remember exactly what where. There's another big patch of volunteer lettuce here. Um, under the burlap is actually um, sweet potato plants. My sweet potato plants that I had growing inside all, all winter, seemed like, since January or February anyway. Um, I, took them, I took them out of the jar they were in and planted them in some compost. And I don't know, maybe the compost was just too heavy on fertilizer or something. But um, they just didn't do well. And so I finally transplanted them out here, but I think they might have been too far gone. So I don't know how many of them are actually going to survive, but we'll see. And then after them, I've got like three, two and a half rows of, um, of beans planted, different kinds of beans. So there's, uh, there's, there's Boomer. He lives across the road, but he comes over and plays with Guy. So... I guess that's it for this particular time. Um, now that it's warm, I'll be planting a lot more stuff, um, transplanting things out. Oh, I still got the herb garden to go. Okay, herb garden doesn't have too much going on yet. That's that's a hyssop, that one there. That's an evergreen, so it came back from last year. Or I should say it survived the winter, it's an evergreen. This is the thing called marshmallow. Um, and it, it's a perennial, so it came back from the roots. Still don't know exactly what to do with it. It's supposed to have some sort of medicinal purpose, but and then I'll just have to fill in the rest of this with herbs that are inside right now, growing in pots. So, um, kind of got a lot of gravel in, in here. I guess chickens have been scratching it out from under the porch. So I might have to, um, might have to add a little dirt here and, uh, scrape out some gravel but anyway and i don't know about this rose here if it's still i guess it's still alive it's got some some living parts i'm probably supposed to cut off this other stuff probably supposed to cut off the dead stuff so i have to do that soon but anyway that's the garden for this year just getting started and uh I'll try to keep doing one of these every every week or two as long as there's something to say about it. So thanks for watching.